a message for anyone who is feeling discouraged because you may think that what you're working on is not making any results. So you may be losing faith in yourself and kind of feeling maybe like a loser, <laughs> maybe like a victim. So if you feel like that, uh, I want to give you a message. You know, I'm just in the middle of the painting, almost finishing it. And you see what helps the most uh, when you're not happy with what you're doing or when you're not happy with the results. It's just knowing that you've attached yourself to a certain expectation and then it didn't happen the way you would like it to be or the way you were expecting it to be and it made you disappointed. So I always, when I feel like that, I do feel like that sometimes. I always ask myself, how can I know what's best for me? How can I know what's best for me? Because painting taught me something very, very powerful. It taught me that even when I have a clear picture, I usually see a vision in my mind, like what will be the next painting. And even when I have that vision, I later recognize it, it was more like an inspiration than an actual picture. So it means that even when we have goals, like this is what I want to achieve in my life, this is what I want to create, those go goals are not actual experiences we want, but more just inspirations, what we are working towards. But then life is quite unpredictable. And this unpredictable part of life will bring us what we actually need, not what we want. And once we are able to understand that we always get what we need, we'll slowly develop this sense of knowing that it's all happening in the right way. And that is the main thing we should learn in life. To develop an understanding that life always happens the way it should. And we always get what we need. And if you don't believe that, reflect on your past and see how all your biggest challenges actually introduced you to your greatest strength. How when you've been the most sick, you've also learned what you've been doing wrong with your body and therefore you've been able to change it. Or maybe what kind of approach you've been lacking. Maybe you've been lacking a perspective and you've needed to hear a certain story that introduced you to a completely new understanding, new way of looking at things that changed your life. And suddenly you were not feeling as a victim anymore. You've just seen it as an opportunity that, well, even if your situation is not how you would like it to be, it still doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Maybe it's the end of the world of your old theory of how it should work and it's introducing you into a new world. <laughs> That's why there's a lot of talk right now about the new world, new earth, because a new story is emerging that is more empowering, that is more supportive for society, for human beings, <laughs> for our purpose and well-being. But it's not like it just happens out of nowhere. You make it happen out of nowhere. It seems out of nowhere, but actually you do it because you feel inspired to do something like that. You feel inspired to, to start your life over. And that's what writes a new story, isn't it?
You see, sometimes when I get bored at painting, I start a completely new style, like this one. I start doing something I've never done before, or I play a little bit with something I've done in the past, and I was not doing, <laughs> well, for a long time. And I do it once again, and I play with it. And you know what happens? I experience a new joy, a refreshment, something I haven't felt for some time. Sometimes we get stuck in life because we are still forcing the old way to work, the old planes to work, the old goals to work. And they don't. They don't work. <laughs> and then we get frustrated, like I've tried all, all the knowing strategies and nothing works. Oh, what, what now? So nothing works because maybe your plan is outdated. And then you learn, oh, maybe the universe was teaching me to update my plans, <laughs> to update my strategy. But how? How can I update it? I don't, I don't know what to do. And that's how we usually feel. Like if you're running a business, so many times you feel like, I don't know what to do. Like I don't know what to do in marketing. I don't know how to find new clients or whatever. I don't know. But because you don't know, life connects you to new people. Isn't it so? Or because you don't know, you kind of become curious and you start studying something new and suddenly you recognize, oh, actually not just that I didn't know, I also didn't felt so aligned with it anymore. For a long time I was not truly admitting to, to myself, but it was not bringing me as much joy as it used to. So maybe it's not the strategy that doesn't work. Maybe it's because you've lost a sense of joy for doing it. And you need to kind of find a new approach or a new way of doing it. Or maybe completely change what you're doing. Change your job, change your business and start what inspires you. Because you see, we are all moving in cycles. Usually every four years, we completely change. And therefore, it's healthy if you change your job here and there. It's healthy if you meet new people. It's healthy if you start a completely new workout routine. It's healthy if you begin something completely new and renew yourself, right? It's a very healthy thing you can do for yourself. So if you want to stay confident while things are not, it seems like things are not working out in your favor, maybe recognize that what you think it would be your favor is not really the right thing. And try to be more open-minded for what's happening. That's why painting is um, so therapeutic, because you never know what will you, you know, what will be the next line. Here, you can't know what will be the, the next line. I just observe how it is evolving. I, I even don't know how it's, you know, how this canvas should be turned. Should it be this or should it be this? I don't know. So I'm just observing how it is evolving, where to make the next line. So it's like seeing how everything is unfolding and then responding to what happens. And that is the most masterful approach to life. Sure, the hardest, because we want to predict everything so we would feel safe. But if you really want to feel safe, start to believe that life works for you. And start to see how it is unfolding in your life how your life is unfolding in your life. <laughs> mm. 
and respond when something unfolds. You know, stop trying to overthink everything and figure things out like, what will I do? Sometimes, I know when I was broke, it was like my mind went to all kinds of places. How will I pay that bill that will overdue in two weeks? How will I pay it? And then you know what happened? One day after the expired date, I've sold an original painting and the bill was covered. It happened three times. For three months it was happening. And then I've started seeing a pattern. Maybe I really need to... It was so funny. I thought I really need to set an expiring date in my mind so the right thing can happen. For example, if I really need more money, maybe I need to set an expiring date and I really need to kind of force myself into believing that until this day I need to receive more money. So what I've started doing, I've started writing down this affirmation. I have more money than I can spend, so I will never run out of it. And for a lot of time, just nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened. I thought, well, this is, you know, these affirmations, it's all bullshit, it's nothing. But then one day I was meditating and I got this idea to combine my painting videos with messages and, and really make an educational content, inspiring content, something that brings value. You know, art is such a powerful tool because it opens our minds and then if we add some inspiration, some insights, some practical steps, it will easily go into your mind and be planted there. So it was such an incredible idea and that's what I did and then this channel started growing. And now we've reached over 450,000 subscribers, thanks to all of you. Just to see it as a proof that when you think your affirmations and your inner work and your meditations and everything you're working on yourself is not working, it's actually working in the background and it's just waiting the right time. And when everything aligns, you will get an insight or an inspiration or a sense of knowing. Usually I call this spontaneous realization, the intuitive knowing that will show you what to do. And then you just need to do it. You need to start keeping promises to yourself. So, Truly the best thing you can do is to train yourself to keep promises to yourself. Like when you decide I will work out, go and do a workout. When you decide you will read a book, read the whole book, don't read just one chapter and end there. When you say you will call that person, actually call that person or write emails or look for the new job and Call them and, and, and just do it. Keep promises to yourself. That's how you will stay confident. Because confidence is a tricky thing because sometimes the best way to be confident is to actually not trying to be confident but just doing what we know we have to do. Because in the universe, energy comes to those who need it. So often when you feel the lack of energy, the lack of confidence, it's because you're just not using it. You're not using confidence. If you would be going on meetings every single day, you would naturally become confident because you're doing it. If you want to become confident as an artist, start doing more of your art and start sharing it with the world. And that's how you will become confident. You get more of the energy that you need. That's how the universe works. It gives you what you need, not what you want. You want to feel confident, but you are not doing anything to become confident. You think it should happen out of nowhere, but it never happens out of nowhere. It happens out of an action you've taken. So everything is an effect 
and you are the cause. It's the physics, right? Everything becomes an effect when you are a cause. Like you would try to become a good artist without making any painting and saying, I will start painting when I will be good at it. <laughs> or I will start painting when my paintings will be selling well. You know, my paintings started selling well after I've produced so many paintings that I don't even know where to put them. That's when my paintings started selling well. I have so many of them still here with me. <laughs> but I'm constantly working on a new one. And I'm constantly changing my style, playing with it. You, if you observe my art, you will notice that um, each painting is quite different because I'm constantly playing with it. And that's life, like I said, see what is unfolding and respond to it. Respond to it creatively. Okay, what now? You've lost a job. Okay, what now? You have more time for yourself. How to use it? Right? It's being open-minded. I have more time for myself. Great! Is there something I wanted to do, but I had no time before? Don't worry about money. Right now we have something else to be creative about. And you will find out something very, very incredible. When you focus on something else, you stop worrying on, uh, about what you think that is not going right. When you focus on something else, it's not a distraction if it's a creative process or if you feel really inspired about it. It's just a new chapter. And most probably you've never been through something like that, so you would know that actually, eventually, events in your life turn the way that it's best for, for you and for everything you're working on. And also for people around you. But it's not how you want, it's always how it needs to be. Like sometimes, you may say, I'm, I'm surrounded with toxic people. But what life requires you to do is maybe to be honest with them. And maybe if you become more honest with them, you may notice they're not so toxic. They're just projecting their own insecurities onto you, which is their habit. And if they still stay that way while you've been being honest with them, it's not their fault at all. You've just trained yourself to be more honest with people, which is a good thing. And that's how we notice each person can be a teacher. Not that you will be friend with everyone, but everyone gives you an opportunity to, to be honest or to be kind or to be more authentic. But it's easier to say those are toxic, everything is wrong, and I'm a victim. It's easier to say that than to actually do what you feel afraid of doing. Maybe leaving them behind. A scary thing often is to open up a new page when you know that some people will not be there on that, in that new chapter. It's scary sometimes, but you see, life is unpredictable and you need to believe that everything happens the way that is good for your growth and how you have to grow is not how you want to grow <laughs> eventually you will find it out <laughs> it's the fun part of life like i think this painting is becoming quite fun So my friends, I hope you found a great value in, in this video, a different one. Let me know if you would like to see more of this. I had a great fun and we did some progress with the painting. Because, you know, there's so much of work behind these videos. It may seem sometimes people write me, 
if I make these paintings in one day, which is so funny because usually I'm working on one painting for one month because I'm just not working on it a whole day long. It, sometimes it takes me 10 hours or 20 hours or maybe 30, 60 hours, however, to finish one painting, but usually it takes me one month or more because I'm just not working on it all day long. It's actually, it's rewarding, but it's also exhausts my brain when I'm painting a lot because you're focusing so much and your eyes and the slides and everything. So yeah, there's so much work be behind these videos. That's why I'm not often making videos like that. But um, I will most probably because I had a great fun. So let me know if you would like to see more of this kind of videos. And I want to say thanks to everyone who chose to support my art showing support for this is uh, very very beautiful from you and it helps me a lot to reinvest in everything i'm doing so thank you so much for your support and i hope you found great value in today's video uh, have a beautiful day and see you in the next one hey my friends i hope you've enjoyed in today's video i want to remind you that we've just opened a fresh new store called attractpassion.com where you can find all of my work original paintings you can find prints of all of my art in different sizes so go there and check it out attractpassion.com if you will use the code passion15 passion15 you will get 15 off onto your first order so go there and check it out and to anyone who would love to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I'm offering one-on-one -on -one coaching. We have some free spots once again. You can go and check out the link in the description of this video where you can find everything there. So go and check it out. If you would like to do something with the inspiration that you feel right now, it will help you so much to transform your life. I want you to do something with it. If you feel inspired, you have to do something with it. So my friends, Till next time, one love.